Welcome back to our channel. Today we are going to have a look at Endgame number 29 from the book 100 Endgames You Must Know by Jesus de la Vila. This is a must read book for all club chess players to improve the chess and games. I'll leave a, a link in the description in case you want to purchase a book for yourself. From Endgame 21 till now we have been looking at Rook versus Pawn in games, and usually the side with the Rook either wins or draws the position. However, there's one exception which we, uh, the author speaks about in this chapter. Now, given the king positions here, if the rook is on f5 or b5, then white wins. The whole idea for white is to queen this pawn safely. For that, white has to bring the king to b7. It's not, uh, it's not an easy task to bring the to b7. So we'll just have a look. It's black to move. Black kings uh, check if uh, white has to come all the way down to go back to b7. What happens here in this position? What happens if white simply goes to f7? Then it's a draw. How can black draw this position? Simply bring the rook to f1 and after queening then uh, black picks up the queen and draws the position. So going back to this position, the correct move is king f5 and here king d4, uh, rook d4 again giving a check. Uh, king c4 is the wrong move. Why is that? Because black can pay rook f1 and then the same threat can pick up this pawn. So going back to this position, the correct move is king d4. So you get the idea. Black's rook can play rook f4, f1 and then pick up this pawn. So for that, White has to bring the king all the way down and here instead of going to d3 they can go to c2 because this threat of f1 is no more at the moment because so as a result uh, here black gives another check. Now the king goes back up uh, despite all the checks and goes to the desired position of b7 and here uh, eventually white is able to um, promote this to a queen and this is going to be a queen versus rook ending. In this position here we are going to have a look at the same king position and the pawn position but here the rook is on b5. So how is uh, white able to win this position? Uh, after black gives a check uh, white does the same thing brings the king all the way down and then after uh, c8 then White simply queens and win this position. I hope you enjoy this video. For more videos like this, please like and subscribe and it's bye for now.